Hey guys, what's up? It's Ravi Ranger here, and welcome back to another episode of our Go to Our Trading Games Only One Minute Company series. And today we have Giant Sword Guards led by a Sentinel versus Protectors of Heaven led by a Champion. The stats for the two units should be popping up on screen anytime now, so you can pause and take a look and see how the two units size up against each other. We are playing this on Romance Mode. So Romance Mode is where the characters in the game are portrayed as larger than life heroes, as portrayed. Depicted as depicted in the novel The Romance of the Three Kingdoms. We are playing this on extreme unit scale. So, on extreme unit scale, all infantry units, with the exception of a few units, have 240 men per unit. Okay, now GN Sword Guards are exclusive to the Sentinel class. Alright, then in campaign, GN Sword Guards are available once the Sentinel character reaches rank 6. They are available for equipment. Okay. So they are something between tier 2 and tier 3 units, good, sturdy, dependable troops. They are regular troops and can deploy formations if a strategist is present in the army. Okay. On the other hand, the protectors of heaven led by the champion, these are not class specific units. These are elite units as passive as denoted by the gold outline uh, surrounding their unit icon. Okay. So this gold icon means either the unit is an elite unit or it is a faction unique unit. In this case, they are elite units and initially when the game launched along with Defenders of Earth, Protectors of, the, protectors of Heaven were the only proper elite unique elite unit you could get. Okay, So these Protectors of Heaven are irrespective regardless of class. Any class of characters can record them. Okay. Although since their pole arm or glaive infantry, their specialization is for the champion class, it doesn't matter. All characters can recruit them. Once you hit Emperor rank in the campaign, single player campaign, Protectors of Heaven are unlocked, available to recruit immediately and for all characters. Okay. So if Dragon units are considered tier 3 units, these Protectors of Heaven are considered tier 4. They are uber elite units, okay? Elite of elite units. And they are equipped as befits their status, okay? So these troops are selected personally by the Emperor and the armor and the weapons they use have been commissioned exclusively for them by the Emperor. Something like Emperor or Royal Bodyguard, okay? Royal Guard Regiments, you could say, if you want to make a comparison. So if you observe, very heavily armored, not only are they very heavily armored, you can see they have a block chance of 35% and the reason is very simple, okay, if you see, if you observe their armor very carefully, on that existing layer of scale lamellar armor, you have additional leather, okay, you have shoulder pauldrons made of leather reinforced with the central metal plate that is protecting the shoulders. You have additional leather strapping to form a breastplate. So, you have an additional leather breastplate over there. You can see there, upon that existing laminar armor is another layer of leather armor. Okay, that's pretty sturdy. So, the armor they are wearing is heavy. Not only is it heavy, it is additionally it is reinforced. So, due to this extra armor they wear, additional layer, they get the 35% rage block chance. And just observe their weapons. So, okay, if you compare them to the previous video where the Azure Dragons are also wielding their glaives, these are not your ordinary glaives, okay? These are ornate glaives, ornately decorated glaives, which means it's a special weapon. It's meant for special troops. So, you can see there is a red, uh, there is a wrapping of red silk or red thread, okay, on the shaft of the weapon. And just below that, there is a tassel of horsehair, red horsehair. So what this does is, it prevents blood from sliding down the shaft and making your blade shaft sticky so that your hands don't get wet and they don't, the weapon doesn't fall out of your grip. So this uh, tassel of horsehair, it absorbs the blood, okay? It prevents the blood from running down. You can see they have an ornate uh, lower end as well. So it's something like a stand or a, or you could say, it's like something like the end of the weapon also, edge, end of this shaft also has something like a weapon 
so it's it's a metal bottom the met, it's a metal fitting so it can you can hurt people with it so you can swing it around and if something happens to your blade or you can use the lower end of your weapon also to cause harm okay so these are really any tools they have a charge attack i mean they have a splash attack on their charge okay when they charge and collide they swing their claws and they send men flying around okay these units cause fear they frighten nearby enemy infantry and enemy other enemy troops and they themselves are immune to psychology so any any other unit which is applying scare effects they are be affected by it okay now both units here have the caltrops abilities so caltrops ability is that they throw these caltrops on the ground and if you step on it if there is step on it causes damage it can kill a few people as well so we need try to avoid that and since it's the ai i mean the last time with the azure dragons the ai was a stupid finicky piece of shit it could not it did not charge directly i don't understand why it was just epic charge into us and would have been good the unit was better compared to the sword cards i don't know what's the ai's problem okay anyways let's start primary general stay far away secondary general stay away will your enemy general to you next get I really don't this idiot. I don't. I'm, I'm going to wait for those protectors of heaven. Come on, you idiot! Come here! Come here! Come here! You bloody idiot! Yeah. You be by who ye? At least bothered about these fools. Just want these protectors to just cross us and just let us face them in peace. Oh no! They're heading towards the enemy. What are they doing? Wait, wait. Let me do something. Let's go. Now. No, don't head towards the general. Oh God! Turn, turn, turn away. Do not get close to them. Okay, leave them. Leave them be. Let them fight it out peacefully. Father, man, I just want to get a good fight. Okay, now I'm gonna throw those stupid caltrops. Just throw it, you idiots. Can't do. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. Quite too cold. Oh, is they're charging? Thank you, sweetness. Oh. Run away, please run away, and let us see this in peace. Allow the two countries to fight in peace, please.
Okay. That's all right. We are getting hammered. For the sake of time, double speed. I think we are yeah, we are we are almost at one third strength. Oh wow, they're just cutting through us. Okay, we are at one third strength. Okay, we just hit half health. Not good. Okay, we just killed 80 men, one third health, we are wavering, we just, okay, we are just one kill away, we will drop down to two digit numbers, oh, we just dropped. Oh, shit, yeah, we are screwed, yeah, yep, we are screwed. 96 surviving, 81 kills, good lord, they just slaughtered us, okay, they just went below one third strength and they just cut us down, they, they, Everywhere you see there are shields, there are bodies of our swordsmen lying prone, we see arms, we see heads, you see swords. Yep, I see headless corpses. Don't know where the heads were sent rolling, but yeah, we just okay, the fight started here and just kept pushing back and back and back and yeah. Not funny. Okay, it's not ideal, not pleasant. Okay, 96 surviving. Yeah, I if they do come back, God bless their soul. Okay, I don't expect they'll come back, but 96 to 159. Okay, is not fun. Alright, so let's assess the damage. Okay. 145. No. Maybe kill 61. Okay, 61. Sorry, sorry. 81 to 144. So that's a little bit over. Um, that's almost a little bit. 81 to 144. So it's 63. So, um, okay. I'll put it in this way. For every one protector of heaven who fell in battle, one Chian soldier also lost his life. Additionally, every protector of heaven had another 80% or so and above chance to kill a second sword guard before being killed okay yeah that that's 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 a good way to put it okay so so for so we have a kill rate of so we so the protectors have a kill rate of 180% so it's not 100% it's 180% so so one Sword guard is killed, and there is an 80 to 80 percent and above chance, around 80 percent, bit over 80 percent, close to 80 percent. Okay, so around an 80 percent chance that a second one is killed before the protector of heaven killed both of them is killed. It's like that. 
okay cost wise i mean yeah we cost 700 and these protectors are giving cost uh 1150 so they are like one and a half times our cost and it shows i see an arm there oh oh my god caltrops so close okay i think i'll stop it here no need to continue this if we step on these stupid caltrops you're dead i think we just ran away from there oh god okay yeah pretty close see the bloody stupid caltrops i hate them damn we got messed up though anyways that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video then leave a like if you did not like the video then leave a dislike share comment and subscribe but make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos when they are released until the next video this is shobi ranger signing out bye